First, we connect the RS-485 adapter cable to the device, with a red wire to A+, and a black wire to B-. Connect the low cell to the display controller. Supply 24V power to the unit. After powering it on, press and hold the K1 key to access the parameter settings. Press K4 to change to the last input position. Press K3 to change the value to 1. Then press K1 to save the modification. Press K1 again to find parameter 31, which is initially set to 1. Press K3 to change it to 2. Press K1 to save. Then power off the instrument and restart to apply the changes. Connect the RS-485 adapter cable and the encrypted USB flash drive to the computer. Open this PC. Locate the newly installed USB drive. Double-click to open it. Find the compressed folder and extract the driver files from it. After extraction, the driver folder will appear in the DAQ folder. Double-click to open. Find the file named CP210. Double-click to open. Locate CP210X64. Double-click to start the installation and select Allow to install. Double-click to open the software installation package, find the install application, and double-click to install it. After installation, the desktop will display the DAQ test system icon. Double-click to open. Click Settings. Select DY800 in the device model drop-down in the top right corner. Refresh the serial port and select COM3. Set the board rate to 90,200. Click Connect Device, and if the green indicator lights up, it indicates a successful connection. Click Data Acquisition tab. Click Start. Now let's apply pressure to the low cell, and the signal received by the instrument can be displayed in real time through this software.